Hi guys, and happy Saturday. We are going to make some enchiladas today. And um, we're going to use uh, the great Chelsea Lynn's sauce on these enchiladas. And we're also going to use a rotisserie chicken. Now, in the summer, when I make enchiladas, I would take um, chicken strips and cook them on the grill. But for today, we're going to use rotisserie chicken. So buy yourself a nice rotisserie chicken and pick all the meat off, dark and light. That's going to go right in our bowl. Beautiful. Look at that. Makes it so easy. Cooking easy with tank. That's what it's all about. Okay. Now to that chicken. We're going to add a couple tablespoons couple heaping tablespoons of sour cream, okay? Uh, about a cup of cheese. I have Mexican blend cheese here. I want about a cup of cheese in that mixture there. Nothing like enchiladas. Who doesn't love enchiladas, right? I am going to add scallop, chopped scallions, because I have them. <laughs> and I'm going to add fresh chopped parsley. You could um, add cilantro instead if you want. Um, but we're using parsley. I'm going to start to mix that up a little bit. This is the filling for our enchiladas, okay? Beautiful, beautiful stuff. And I'm telling you, uh, Tammy's sauce, Chelsea Lynn's uh, enchilada sauce, looks amazing. So I'm really excited to try it. And, uh, Here we are on top of my new uh, cutting board, which makes me very happy. This board is beautiful. I think I'm going to use it as like a base. I don't think I'm going to chop on it because it's so perfect and i got plenty of cutting boards. I'm going to put another tablespoon of sour cream in here. Make it a little more moist, the filling. Really, really yummy. Now, what I'm going to add to this filling, look at that, it looks really good. Looks like an amazing chicken salad done with sour cream, right? All right, I'm going to add a little bit of salt to this. And we're going to add fresh ground pepper. smells so good. I love a fresh ground pepper. Oh, look at that chicken. Doesn't that look great? That looks so yummy. The rotisserie chicken makes it so easy. There's like, I mean, you don't have to cook anything until you put the enchiladas in the oven. So that's about it. That's ready to stuff. So I'll be back with you in two seconds and we will stuff our enchiladas. All right, today I'm going to make our life very easy and I'm going to use these disposable foil pans. Put a tiny bit of olive oil in the bottom. Not even really necessary because it's not one of your good pans that you want to, uh, that you have to worry about cleanup later. All right, let's do this. Let's fill our tortillas. I'm telling you, um, enchiladas are amazing. They are so good. So let's roll these babies up and put them in our pan. Look at that. So easy. Enchiladas are one of the most delicious things, and they are so easy. You can make them easier and easier just by using the rotisserie chicken. 
So perfect, right? So roll your enchiladas. Put them in your pan. <clears throat> I'm using uh, medium size mission tortillas. I'm not using the tiny ones. I'm using the medium size. I'm not using the big wraps. I'm using the medium uh, tortillas. Look at that. Oh, guys, this is going to be so good. And I'm dying to try her sauce because there's, um, what do you call it, on the border, has um, an ench a chicken enchilada that I love. And it's called Enchilada Suiza, Suiza's. And it has a white sauce on it. So when I found uh, Tammy's white sauce, I was really excited because, uh, I'm pretty sure that's uh, about the same sauce that's on the Suiza's. So, rather than use regular enchilada sauce, we're going to make Tammy sauce and the beautiful white sour cream sauce. It's going to be so yummy. And uh, Tammy is a character that Chelsea Lynn has created uh, that is so funny and um, I can, you know, Chelsea is not really a redneck. It's really fun, but she plays a great redneck, and her and her husband both are fabulous. I love them both. They're so much fun. And I even said to Skeety, I said, they do a lot of mukbangs. I said, we should do some mukbangs. So maybe one day I can talk Skeety into doing a mukbang. <laughs> We're both foodies, so, you know, it'd be a fun thing, I think, for us. All right, so we're going to do another pan of these. Well, oops, let's put a little bit of olive oil in there. Let's already put our enchiladas in there. I'm really loving the rotisserie uh, chicken idea. I know uh, my friend Blanca uh, used to buy rotisserie chicken um, and make chicken salad out of it. Great idea also. Just saves you a step. Not having to cook the chicken, you know what I mean? And uh, I like it for enchiladas because enchiladas are so easy. And... Uh, the hardest part is like cooking the chicken, so here you don't have to do that, so. And uh, the rotisserie chicken smelled so good when I brought it home, and <laughs> Vaji was flipping out on the, he was, he was like near the bag, he was trying to, uh, get some. So when I was when I pulled off the uh, meat this morning, I gave him some, of course. The little boy loves his people food. All right, one more. I'm telling you. I love the sour cream sauce idea. I'm so excited to have found it. Let's get every last bit of our rotisserie chicken on this last enchilada. Very, very good. All right, guys, these are all ready to go. And what we're going to do next is make our sauce, pour it over, and I will show you what to do next. All right, into our pan. We're going to put a half a stick of butter. And melt that down. This is not, um, by any means, a low-fat dish. <laughs> but Mexican food rarely is, right? So... Probably what makes it so damn good. 
All right, so we'll melt this down. And to this, you're going to add three tablespoons of flour. And you're going to whisk that. I hope you enjoyed the video earlier. Uh, I found a lot of fun things this week. And uh, tomorrow there are a couple of things going on. There's the Antique Doll and Bear Show in Hasbro Heights. And there's also um, a big flea market at the Wayne PAL where the um, Antique Phonograph Show is held twice a year. So, I don't know. Today, there was also uh, the second Saturday record show. Um, I would have loved to go to the record show, but I really, I just couldn't afford it this week. Whenever I go to that show, I spend so much money. And uh, because there's so many great vendors. And, I mean, I, it's like record store day where you spend two or three hundred dollars in a few minutes. It's really scary. So, I try to stay away from it. Um for the most part. I mean, if I have extra money, I will I will go up there. You know, because it, it's every month. That show is every month. The second Saturday of every month. Very fun. Alright. Our butter is just about uh, melted. So we're going to add our three tablespoons of flour. Put it right in, and we're going to whisk that. I'm going to whisk that into a roux. Um, at this point, you could, you could uh, preheat your oven to 350. Okay, because we're almost there. Look at that. Does that look good or what? This is Tammy's sauce. This is Chelsea Lynn's sauce, and I'm telling you, this sauce looked so good. I watched I watched that video over and over again, and I said I need to try it. She puts um, crumbled up Doritos on top. I'm gonna leave that part off. <laughs> I don't really. That's not really my thing. Although Skeety said um, when he was at Bike Week, there's a place down there that does that. Uh, all the time. Uses Doritos on top of stuff. Alright, that looks fine. That looks really good. We're going to add two cups of chicken stock. Yummy. And we're going to keep whisking. And we're going to uh, get this thick and beautiful. So there's a new movie coming out this weekend uh, with Dev Patel. Dev Patel is one of my favorite actors, and it's called uh, Hotel Mumbai. Does that not look intense or what? If you remember, uh, the Hotel Mumbai was uh, infiltrated by terrorists, and there was like 24 or 48 hours of terror with people trapped inside. Oh, the movie is going to be intense. Like I said, I can't sit in a movie theater. Just can't do it, especially uh, for a movie that intense. Uh, but uh, as, soon, as soon as that comes on, uh, on demand, I'll be watching that. Uh, Dev Patel, one of my favorite, favorite actors. Um, Thousand, uh, hundred foot journey. <laughs> what a great film! If you haven't seen that, you have to. He's done a lot of great stuff. He's a very, very talented little uh, young Indian guy. Just an excellent actor. 
All right, so here's our chicken stock and here's our chicken stock and the roux mixing together. It doesn't look delish. I'm going to cook that down a little bit until it starts to bubble. Maybe get a little thicker. I think at this point, stock is salty, but I'm going to add a little bit of salt. Tiny bit, just a tiny bit of salt. I'm going to add some pepper. Because I love it. <laughs> I was going to add um, ghost chilies to this, but um, I think I'll hold off on that just in case my mom uh, would like some of these. I said, but she doesn't, she, um, doesn't do the hot stuff like I do, but ghost chilies would be awesome in this. So, as soon as this starts to thicken a little bit, we're going to add a, a small can. Let's see. This is four ounces of uh, chopped green chilies. And we're going to add about a cup of sour cream. We'll pour these over our beautiful enchiladas. And bake them for about 20 minutes. We'll cover them with some beautiful cheese. And uh, bake them for 20 minutes. They will be ready to go. So let's open our green chilies anyway. So I think maybe tonight we'll watch the uh, punk film that I showed you earlier. Um, that documentary about CBGBs and the punk uh, New York City punk scene that we lived <laughs> and loved. I think that'll be very good. chilies, the whole four ounce can, to our sauce. Very nice. Stir that up a little bit. Then I'm going to remove this from the heat and add our sour cream, about a cup of sour cream. Should thicken it up nice. Turning the heat off. And ready to add our sour cream. Beautiful. Mix that up. That looks so good. 
I keep spilling crap on the stove. <clears throat> Whisk it until all the sour cream is incorporated. Then we'll pour it over our enchiladas and put the, the cheese on top and put them in the oven. So as soon as this is ready, I will be back with you and we'll pour them over our enchiladas. sauce and I dip my finger in there and tasted it. It is amazing as I suspected. So let's pour our sauce over our enchiladas very carefully. Both containers. Gosh this smells amazing. It smells absolutely amazing. So let's get this over here, spread it around, like Tammy says, spoon it on the areas that are uncovered, get all our chilies on there, just beautiful, oh my gosh, this smells amazing, very much like the Suiza, like the uh, enchilada Suiza that I love. <laughs> so, I'm pretty thankful to Tammy, to Chelsea, for making this sauce, making it look so freaking good and easy, and it definitely was easy. Look at that. Does that look good or what? Okay, now, we are going to cover these with our cheese. They're beautiful. I'm using Mexican cheese blend, the Mexican cheese blend, which is Monterey Jack cheddar, queso, quesadilla, and as asadero. Nice. So cover your enchiladas with that beautiful cheese. Then we will put these in a 350 oven, preheated. 350 oven for about 20 minutes till they're heated through and the cheese is all melty and beautiful. Look at that. Does that look good? Nothing like quesadillas or Mexican food for that matter. I love Mexican food. There's nothing about Mexican food not to like, especially if you love cheese beans and chilies and all that good stuff. Rice. All that good stuff that they always that they put in everything. Okay. These are going in the oven. 350. 20 minutes. I'll be back with you when they're done. Okay guys. Our enchiladas are done. Uh, I actually cook, I actually left them in the oven for 30 minutes at 350. Get the cheese nice and done. Beautiful. Oh god, they smell so good. So very, very good. And there we have them. I'm going to let them rest for a little bit and then we'll cut some and taste them. And what we're going to have them with is uh, the 12th of Never from Lagunitas. Um, brewery. It's the 12th of Never Ale. Isn't that fun? <laughs> Especially for record people. Until the 12th of Never. Very fun. So anyway, we're listening to the Gypsy Kings. Uh, we're drinking our Lagunitas Ale and we're getting ready to cut into our beautiful enchiladas a la Tammy. Back with you in a minute. Alright guys, let's cut a little piece of our enchiladas a la Tammy and put them on our plate and 
give them a taste. Oh, that sauce looks amazing. In fact, I'll get a spoon get some of that sauce and put it over the top. Mmm. Smells great. Smells amazing. Okay, there it is. But what I'm going to do is drizzle a tiny bit of New York City hot sauce across the top. Just a little. Look at that. Doesn't that look beautiful? Alright, let's taste this um, enchilada with white sauce. Beautiful. Oh, the sauce smells so good. And using the rotisserie chicken makes it so easy. Alright, here we go, guys. It's gonna be hot. The hot sauce is nice on top of there, but what a delicious enchilada sauce oh, Tammy has created. Wow, that is good. All right, I'm going to make this when Raymond next visits. We'll make this for Ray when he comes this year. Because that is freaking good. Mmm. So anyway, guys, as I eat my enchiladas and dance around to the Gypsy Kings and sip my Lagunitas, 12th of Never Ale, <laughs> I wish you all the most beautiful, magical, mystical musical Saturday. I hope you make it. I hope you love it. And I will talk to you very, very soon. Bye.